traffic solved many problems for us, um, not only as our main ingress for our entire cluster, but also as a nice packaged application for our customers who you know just want to come in and have that capability but not have to think about the install, and they can just go and they're, they're hooked up in a matter of five minutes. So it really makes things really simple for them. Uh, traffic was better than easier to configure for containerized applications, better than uh, if your proxy or Nginx itself. It was a drop in replacement for all proxies like if your proxy or even Nginx itself. Uh, it was so much easier to uh, configure and make it work. I have been an avid user of uh, traffic since late 2015, early 2016, I believe. Have used it to front virtually um, every payload that I have helped maintain. We use it as our primary ingress controller in all of our clusters currently um, and are moving more and more of our clients to traffic in um, the new clusters that we're building. It's really easy to implement, really easy to use. Traffic became a standard for our clusters in transition. So I love that we can concentrate all the traffic in one ingress and manage it there instead of having several ingresses for all our services that becomes unmanageable and expensive at some point. The problem that traffic solves is that, well, we used the Nginx in the past, at least in some companies, and basically the way that it's dynamic is really helpful because you can change configuration much more easily uh, than in previous uh, in, uh, engines or ingresses. And we also have like a really good integration with Kubernetes, which is really great. Uh, deploy the ingress and have everything just work, including web secure and uh, all kinds of uh, PLS support that was really easy to set up.